The next knot up here on the list can be the double fisherman's. Now this one here, real good for joining two ends of the rope together. Makes a nice continuous one, as opposed to just tying an old overhand in it and having a knot poking out the side. You achieve almost the same result. Okay, you've got a loop, but it's real ugly. You've got these tag ends sticking out and it tends to slip. Now, if you tie a double fisherman's knot, put it back to back, they won't slip out. They self-tighten as you go onto them, as you pull into them. They're just gonna make each other tighter. So, double fisherman's, here it is. We're gonna lay the two pieces of rope with the two ends here, side by side, just like this, okay? You're gonna start with, start with whichever one you want. The important thing to remember here is that you're gonna flip the rope over, and you're gonna make your twists and your wraps in the exact same direction both times. So I'm gonna start with the one that's furthest away from me here. Okay, I'm gonna come over the top, and pass it around. This is gonna leave one little loop here like this. We're gonna go around it a second time. Oh, I'll slip out of there. Back around, crossing over itself, working backwards towards the other tip of the rope. We're gonna come over, we're gonna go, go through this little hole a little barrel that we made up in here between the two of them. Okay, here it is. Got an X on one side, you got two flat laying on this one side, one X on the other, pull that tag in. Now you're gonna flip the rope like that. Okay, sorry, get my hands in the way here. Pull yourself a little bit of this out here. You see that one slides around. We're gonna go, same thing. We're gonna go over and backwards. Twice. Back over and up through that barrel. Two flats, one X. Okay, just like this. You pull that nice and tight. Then you pull them two ends of the rope, bring these together. As you pull on this, it's going to make these tighter and tighter and tighter. You'll know you've done it right if you've got four flats laying side by side on this one and two X's laying side by side on that one. Okay? Now the last knot here in our six knots is going to be um, the trucker's hitch. And this is, uh, this basically is the simplest way to give yourself a mechanical advantage. This is real handy for tying down a load. Got a trailer full of sticks and branches and stuff, throwing a rope over the top, doing some old granny knots on the fire side. Um, kind of works, but it's going to work itself sort of loose. You're never going to get it properly tight. Uh, or, you know, maybe even in this case, uh, here like me, a big old heavy uh, cooler, you just want to drag it somewhere. It's too heavy to lift. Uh, this is going to give you the mechanical advantage to do that, okay? So, rope's tied off. On the other end over here, we've got a bowl lying around, something good and solid, a nice big tree, and drag the spool over to the tree. So we're gonna take this end of the rope here, we're just gonna through the old handle, we're gonna come back. Okay, we're gonna take a wee bit of that, tension it up, it's still too heavy. So, right up here, what we're gonna do is, remember that marlin spike we did a few seconds ago? Basically the same thing. We're gonna put a slippery knot up in here, and then we're gonna feed this end of the rope back up through it and pull down on it the other direction. Do the same thing if you had a, a trailer full of stuff, you tie off the other end, you throw this over the top, come around your other tie down point, go back along the thing up on top of your pile of sticks and branches here, and you're gonna make a loop, just like this, okay? And you're gonna pick up through that loop, you're gonna reach in, I'll make that bigger so you can see this. Okay, nice big loop like that, and you're gonna reach through the loop you're gonna pick up the rope. And it's real important here when you do this that you pick up the same side of the rope as what's going to your other pull point. If you were to make this loop over here, let's say, and pick up the other side, it's coming from your solid end, uh, you're just gonna end up pulling against it and you're gonna tie this knot real tight. You're not gonna get a lot of mechanical advantage, um, but what's gonna happen is you're just gonna pull and pinch down and that's essentially this is where your marlin spike should have gone, but um, we're not doing that now. So we've got the loop. We're gonna make the loop, and we're gonna pick up this end. Come up on through here. Zoom that in here so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, over here. 
pick up this end, it's going around the cooler, and we're going to go up and out. Okay, we're going to start by, we're just going to cinch that down on one side here a little bit. Made yourself a slippery knot, everybody's familiar with that, everybody can make one of those. We're going to take, <coughs> so we're going to take this end of our rope, come up through that loop, and we're going to pull it back on itself. Basically, turning your own rope into a pulley. Okay, now once you've got that tightened down, all your branches, your cool is pulled over to the tree, your branches are secured down on the <coughs> on the trailer, whatever it is you're doing, you just gotta pinch right in here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom on in for you to see that. Still holding it, didn't cut the shot, nothing like that. Okay, here it is. Down here, this is you're pulling on this one here. Give me the advantage. Pinch this. Okay, I'm gonna take this whole end here, I'm just gonna go around and into itself. I got it. Okay, and do one more just for good measure. That's just an overhand knot half hitch if you will. We're just going to put that back on. Two of those, done, solid, secured. Just zoom in on that for us. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me. That was real cool. Um, six simple, dead simple, easy knots. You want to know uh, when I'm learning a new knot, I learn one knot at a time, maybe one knot a day even, and I always keep a little meter of rope like this, three feet. Keep it in your pocket, bring it with you, go everywhere you're going. You want to be able to tie these knots without looking at them while you're keeping a, keeping a conversation, talking to somebody, doing some things. You want to be able to know them by feel, know them by touch, know them without actually doing anything. You know, alpine butterflies, bow lines, <clears throat> trucker's hitches, um, clove hitches. These knots are indispensable. They have 150, 150 million thousand uses. You can't possibly imagine. Um, Marlin spike toggles. Toggles are good for everything in life. Just get to know a few of them. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. The more you know, uh, the better equipped you are, the faster you can decide on what knots you're going to make, the easier your job becomes. So, give yourself a piece of string, keep it in your pocket, practice those, to see they'll pay off, um, pay themselves off dividends. Thanks guys, have a good evening, catch you later.